Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rata Lessons. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. Happy St. Patrick's Day to those of you who celebrate. And of course, in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the top 10 green fragrances in my collection. A lot of really nice diversity in this list. And I'm also gonna be letting you know about a very special giveaway. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin this video and I tell you all about these 10 green fragrances, and I also give you a little bit of commentary on what makes each one of them green and also let you know about the very special giveaway, I do wanna start things off by mentioning that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified on future uploads on this channel and give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's review. Now, given the fact that it is St. Patrick's Day and spring is right around the corner, I know I've been saying that for like the past two weeks on my channel, but really the date is getting closer and we're all excited for some warmer weather. I know I am for once. So um, here we have 10 green fragrances. And of course, if you wanna enter for your chance to win, one of the many bottles in this list, not all of them are eligible for the giveaway, but there are a few. Go ahead and follow the first link down below in the description section. That's gonna bring you to cephalobond.com. After you become a registered reader, just leave a comment on the article, and that's all you need to do to enter the giveaway. So just make sure to come back to the article in one week's time to see if you are one of the lucky winners. And of course, I'm wishing everybody luck out there. That is the only way that you can find out if you're a lucky winner by going back on over to the website Website. I will never ask any of you to contact me through WhatsApp or to text me or I'm not personally going to correspond with you via email. So you have to go back to cephalobond.com. So make sure that you are mindful of that. So 10 green fragrances. When I think of green, I think of a variety of different ingredients. Of course, sheepers come to mind as a, a genre, but I also think of oak moss. I think of patchouli. I think of cardamom, basil, mint, tarragon. And there are other ingredients that kind of give off a green vibe, whether that be grass or vetiver, which is a type of grass. So let's just go ahead and dive into the list and I'm gonna be letting you know why each one of these fragrances reminds me of green or why it smells green to me. And of course, a lot of them have green in the name and the first one, we just gotta get this one out of the way. This one is Green Irish Tweed by Creed. I know when it comes to the springtime, a lot of people say that this is their favorite fragrance. And of course, it's been around since 1985. It definitely opens up very bright and citrusy. You have the Florentine Iris, you have the Lemon Verbena. It just smells very inviting, very fresh very versatile as well. So Green Irish Tweed by Creed is a fragrance that I purchased many years ago and I will always have a bottle of it in my collection. Now, a more recent pickup for me, although this fragrance is a bit old or on the older side of things, but it was a recent pickup for me. This one by Olfactive Studios is called Panorama. Now with Panorama, there's actually a wasabi note in it. Now wasabi is a little bit on the spicy side of things. It is a plant and it's usually used uh, with sushi. You might find it in a bento box and it actually has from what i've read antibacterial properties which is one of the reasons why they serve it with sushi but in case of the smell it actually smells really interesting there was a vibe in the opening at least that kind of reminded me of pot but it has this green grassy earthy very likable personality about a very very unique i've never smelled anything like this before that's panorama by olfactive studios and this was a fragrance that was recently sent to me so i'm very appreciative of that. And this one by Le Jardin Retrouvé is called Rose Arashiyama. Now this fragrance has two of my favorite ingredients in it. One of them is mastic oil or lentisque and the other one is fig leaf. So there's the green element in this one, the fig leaf. Now both of these ingredients surprisingly remind me of Greece and I used to live in Greece when I was younger. So mastic or lentisque is called masticha in Greek and they make so many things out of it desserts and chewing gum and just a ton of things. And then I also had a fig tree in my backyard when I used to live in Greece. So this one actually 
combines two elements that explicitly remind me of Greece. So it's a very special fragrance for me and I personally love it. So here we have a super accomplished perfumer, Cecile Zerokian. I mean, if you're not familiar with her work, you've definitely been living under a rock. This one by Jacques Faf is called Green Water. This stuff is amazing. So it has neroli, it has bergamot, a ton of citrus in the opening, but then you're also gonna have the mint, the basil, the tarragon. There are so many green aromatic elements that at times could be culinary, but the citrus is this breathtaking introduction and truly an amazing fragrance. If you are a fan of citrusy green fragrances, Green Water by Jacques Faf is one that you have to check out. No questions asked. Now the next fragrance kind of has green in the name. <laughs> this one is by Parfum de Marly. It's called Greenly. So it has green apple, but there's also patchouli in the base. And of course, as you can tell, there's kind of a theme here with the green bottles, but this one is an awesome fruity fragrance. You have like this cashmere wood thing happening in there as well. And it's very bright, very citrusy. You have that tart sweetness in the opening, but then you have that earthy dry down that also gives you really good longevity. So Greenly by Parfum de Marly is a solid fragrance. Now, here's the thing. If you miss the 80s powerhouse fragrances, you know what I'm talking about. Polo Green, Dracar by Guy La Roche. This is a fragrance that has a super natural smelling oak moss with such virility behind it. And everything that I've tried from this brand so far has been amazing. Totally knocks it out of the park. The perfumer is Manuel Cross. And the fragrance by Rogue Perfumery is called the Mousse Illuminé. This is cypress, oak moss, artemisia, right? Which is also kind of wormwood, which is what they use to make absinthe. So this is green on a number of different levels. This stuff, when I tell you it's amazing, it is amazing. If you want to be reminded of the sort of um, unadulterated oak moss and green fragrances of the late 70s, early 80s. This is 100% the fragrance for you to check out and he has so many amazing creations. I would like to explore many more of them in the future. The next fragrance I want to talk about is on the spicy side of things. So you're going to get a bit of cardamom in this fragrance. You're also going to get juniper if I'm remembering correctly, but there's also a basil note in here as well. So it's aromatic, it's very fresh, but there's also a spicy element within it too. By Hermetica, this is called Green Lion. So this one is perfect for the springtime and very much like the other fragrances in this list it does smell explicitly green as if the color of the bottle didn't give it away but all of these fragrances have possessed a very significant green component to them so far but green lion is in many ways on a different level with the you know the the basil that's in there the juniper the cardamom it definitely is green on a few different levels. Now, the next one that I wanna talk about is an amazing creation by Julien Rasconet. He is such an accomplished perfumer, has personally done some of my favorite fragrances. So when I saw that he was creating this fragrance for Amouage, of course, I was very excited. This one is called Enclave. Now, Enclave is all about the spicy mint. Now, I know I mentioned Green Water by Jacques Faf. This one also has mint in it, but this fragrance has like this spicy, warm, resinous, cinnamony quality that is truly amazing. And there are some green elements in the base. There might be a little bit of oak moss or something like that, but it opens up very bright and spicy with that green minty personality. And of course the color of the bottle is also a little green as well. So this is an amazingly well done fragrance by Amouage. And I love all of the releases that came out at around the same time. Crimson Rocks is a great one. And of course this one is very well done. Now the next fragrance I want to talk about is brand new. You. I've had this one in my possession though for about three weeks to a month. I couldn't really talk about it. There was an embargo, but here we have it. This one by Electimus London is called Persephone's Patchouli. So this fragrance has the patchouli in there and a, a lot of these other fragrances also have patchouli. While it might not be the primary note, it's a secondary or tertiary note. Here it is the primary note, but then there's also this note of plum. So it's green, but it's also woodsy 
and you have this unconventional fruitiness that comes along with it. Not too sweet, in case you're a little apprehensive about overly sweet fragrances, not too sweet in this one, but this is an amazing fragrance. It's actually a uh, part of a, a duo of releases. So you have Persephone's Patchouli, of course, inspired uh, by Greek mythology. And then you also have Patchouli of the Underworld. So that one is a little bit darker, but this one is very bright, very accessible, and I definitely look forward to reviewing it very soon. Persephone's Patchouli is an amazing fragrance. And of course, that brings us to the number one spot. And listen, it's all dependent on my mood, right? There are some days I wake up, I know I'm going to work, I'm gonna be around a bunch of other people. I wear green Irish tweed. Some days, perhaps I'm going on a date with my significant other and you know I'm wearing Enclave because it is also a little bit on the sweeter side of things. Some days I just wanna be feeling very zen and meditative, I wear Mousse Illuminé. So this fragrance is green in such a unique way. It has this green accord, it has this grassy nuance about it, but then there's also this note of mimosa in there. So it's floral, it's very gentle. I think there's also a bit of freesia too. And I think it's the presence of these flowers where you smell it and you're like, wow, that's beautiful, right? So not only is it green in the way that you would expect a green fragrance to be green, but it has this organic floral component about it that is just a beautiful lungful. And this one is also very transportive very meditative and it always puts me in a good mood and I know I'm going to be wearing this one a lot. It's the second fragrance that I own from the brand with the previous one being Daring Do, which is an amazing lavender fragrance, a very fresh fougere. This one by Inica Perfumes is called Balmy Days and Sundays. It reminds me of Rainy Days and Mondays by The Carpenters, uh, but this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance brand that is based out of San Francisco. I can't speak highly enough about this fragrance and I sincerely hope that you watching at home have the opportunity to sample it. I know uh, you can purchase samples if I'm not mistaken on the official website so I'm gonna leave links for all of these down below for your convenience. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy St. Patrick's Day once again to those of you who celebrate. These have been my top 10 favorite green fragrances at the moment. Almost thought of including Apex by Roja Parfum but that one's more of a spicy leather. Not really a green fragrance, although it's in a green bottle, but thank you for watching. Make sure to enter the giveaway by visiting Seth Laban. Links are gonna be down below. Good luck, everybody. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.